that's going to watch you over here, and I might take her over here. If I can have you guys move out of this area and move your shade, but I'm going to move the camel over here. Just move down there, please. There you go. There, that's fine. There you go. So, uh, Jasmine has done a lot of work. You can see I'm working with her different than I did with Goldie. I, I don't know Jasmine yet. You can see how high her head is at this time. And that's because she's a little bit uncomfortable. She doesn't know what we're doing over here. She might pull on me in order to get out of the way. Uh, we got her because she has these big sores on her legs. And, and that's something that we do. We take in camels that have, have problems and we really try to work with them. Um, and, and that's also the reason it's really nice that you guys came over here and, and you're, you're helping us in the way that we're going to afford as you spend the thousands of dollars that we'll need in order to do surgery on this camel over here. Um, she was owned by a very nice person but then sold to somebody else and she just didn't do good in her new situation. Um, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to try this, bring her over here. She's done, she's done, she's very, she's very comfortable with people. And this, bring her over here to this area, that's a good girl. Just like that. But you see, you can see by the way her head is, a little bit high. And she's just not 100% not sure about being out here. But that's why she has the bandages on her. She has these big wounds on her elbows and on her knees. She has some other little problems with her body, but nothing too bad. <laughs> she wants to face. She wants to face this area because she's not sure about the speakers or the sound system. That's a good area, just like that. But for her, this is really neat, and she's a wonderful cow. You know, we love working with her. Uh, we pet her. We hang out with her. She's never been with other camels before, only with horses and sheep and, and goat, like little animals. So yesterday, we saw that she wanted to go out in the pasture. We let her out, and she came out of there like I am gonna push everybody around because I'm the biggest thing here. Well, after 10 minutes of trying to push our camels around, they all put her in the corner. <laughs> they all went down to the pasture to eat, and she was just in her corner saying, okay, I think I want to go back in my pen now. So we have to find a balance between that. Now look at her hump. Is there anything weird about the hump on this camel? It's very big, isn't it? That's another problem. She's about maybe four or 500 pounds overweight. Oh my so that's really bad for a camel. If you look at the camels in the desert, their hump is very small. They're actually not supposed to have a big hump like this. They're supposed to have a very small uh, hump. And um, it's just like good for their system. Yeah, I know. Look at that. You know what's worse than this? When the camel goes to the bathroom, you have little pellets that come out. And then Noodle, our dog, runs over, grabs ones, and eats it. <laughs> That's the end of the, like, the very scientific part of the show. <laughs> well, actually, now this is Noodle's doing it because she's disgusting. But um, in uh, in Africa, in, in World War II, the British soldiers watched the um, the Arabian uh, soldiers because the British soldiers were just not dying from bullets; they were dying from dysentery. And the Arabian soldiers were fine, so they kind of spy like, "What are they doing, man? What are they doing?" And they would follow a camel, and when the camel had um, woo exciting, when the camel had a fresh dropping. They would pick it up and they would eat off of it. And I know it sounds horrific, but um, but it has something in it that was the, uh, it's, it's actually where the cure for whatever dysentery is, that's where the cure was derived from, from some kind of a, of a chemical thing that's, that's in there. Um, but as, as Gil was mentioning, we wanted to bring her out for you guys to see her today. How many of you follow us on Facebook? If you, how many of you do Facebook? Don't be embarrassed, I do. I try not to too much because it's sort of ridiculous. But the great thing about Facebook, it's instant upload and it's easier than working on the website. So anything we have that's brand new, that's where it's going to be posted.